basically we we need to be able to go to the main rev network gary just be careful showing any uh important wallet information on the recording yeah but, but anyway notwithstanding uh i you know what i've shown i i, I don't think there's uh <laughs> there's anything here i'm worried about uh but thanks for the the warning on that i think it it's good everybody know that there there are dangers in doing this yeah uh but anyway here we can go to the test network or we could create our own net uh network and i i think mm. that this is really what we want we okay. want right we want to cuss we want to be able to do a custom yeah um I don't know what this RPC, RPC stands for, but when I do it, what what comes up here is it says you give the network a name and then you just give it the URL. Okay. And what we do to add that fuse network, we just put uh, it's, uh, something like fuse.io, you know, mm -hmm. www.fuse.io or something right there. Right. And then when we um, when we save that, and of course, I've got to go to the I've got to go to the uh, full screen on on this. To, but, but basically, that's what we need. We need this ability to add okay. our own network. Gotcha. All right. Uh, Nut Zipper, does that make sense to you? Ned? Uh, yeah, it does. Okay. I'll stop sharing. That's, that's what... Um, Jim was saying that we lack mm -hmm. and, and this some somehow had something to do with our cat. Do you remember what the connection there was? Yeah, well I guess our our cat is the ultimate solution as far as um for that digital asset management which blockchain art is trying to do. Um yeah, it's so it'll it'll help manage and simplify that. Um, and with the wallet, my chain wallet, that's what we'll use for the you know for the transactions, the transferring of of rev. So you know, the, I guess the ultimately the two will go hand in hand. And so uh, with the blockchain art. Um, Jim's working on, cre he's created a smart contract to identify a art object, you know, what, what the dimensions of it, you know, what material, all the particulars to it, um, IDs, ownership, and, and then, uh, so once that's created, then we create a, um, a resale contract agreement. Uh, resell smart con yes re resell smart contract and so that will work with the art object smart contract and then you know we're you know that project that protocol as eric wants to i guess eric and jim refer to it is kind of marching along so um yeah And Eric, uh, he's working on his thesis, which is the blockchain art. He wants to get about, oh, five or six iPads. And um, he wants, he's collected all of the block on the um, blockchain art videos. And he's going to take out certain segments. And he's, he's creating a presentation for uh, blockchain art. And he's going to roll the uh, some of our clips of blockchain art sessions on these iPads 
you know, in a, I guess he's going to present this in a gallery somewhere to um, educate and inform people, you know, what, what blockchain art is. So it'll be interesting to see how all that comes to fruition. So, um, yeah, so I guess, um, you know, Arvin, he's kind of the, the ringmaster to my, my uh, Archain wallet. And, um, you know, he, he, he's, you know, I guess we can kind of come up with the, these feature requests that we'd like to see. But ultimately, Arvin's the ones to decide, you know, you know what goes in the wallet and, and when, you know, because he's doing that, that work and he's controlling it all. Um, no one else is really involved in that front end development. So, so we, um, I guess, so, you know, ultimately we may need, you know, something like a MyR chain wallet roadmap to, yeah, you know, and, and what, what I want to, uh, see in our wallet, uh, if anybody's interested in this, let me share, let me share the screen again. Uh, this is this is something I learned about through the grapevine. I don't know how public it was. I think this group called Fuse.io. And Fuse.io allows you to create community. I, I created one over here called Archain Community. Mm -hmm. And uh, I created mintable, burnable token on it called RCA. Okay. Now, I initially tried to create a million, and my first attempt didn't work. So someone suggested try a thousand, which I did, and that worked. Jim has subsequently tried like I don't know it was five hundred billion or something, and that worked for him. Hmm. So uh, you can you can mint any number of tokens, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it says here I've got half of them on the Ethereum chain and half of them on the Fuse chain. Mm -hmm. I won't go into that because I'm not sure I completely understand that, but it was recommended. One of the first things you do when you create your token is you transfer some of them to the Fuse network. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, it shows now on the Ethereum exchange, I have, 360 RCH left. Now, in my users list, you'll see that we have uh, we have a community administrator, and that's me. I created the R chain community. Uh, that that really should say R chain community under the name right here, and it turns out. I'm in control of that right now. Now I have two members. One is from a wallet on my iPad, and the other is from a wallet on on a Android tablet. And uh, let's see what can I show you about them. At any rate, back here from my Archain community, I've sent tokens to each of those wallets. Now, the wallets themselves allowed me to join our chain community. Uh, currently having some problem. They don't show that they've received the RCH. But if I look at the wallet on MetaMask, I am I am showing y'all some 
some information there that I'd rather not show you, but it, it can't be it can't be uh, helped. I have uh, the Ethereum address does show that I've received the 360 um, RCH from. Wait a minute. Check that. No, that just shows the 360 RCH in the Archain community's wallet. It's, but the, but the point of all this was that's just how easy it is to create an ERC20 token because there, there's one that I created right there. Right. In front of and so I, I would like to see this particular feature being one of the earliest mm. uh, features of some Archain wallet. Right, right. Yeah, that would um, yeah certainly increase the the usability of it and the ease of ease of use. So, yeah, thanks, Gary. And a little more background on on that uh, how I come to find out about that Fuse.io is uh, Michael Linton is being was invited to some uh, gathering of people interested in community currencies. They're not necessarily blockchain types. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I don't believe they are. They're, they're more like local community currencies. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's been asked to give a presentation with Use.io that I just showed you. Uh, sadly, his understanding of it at, at my last conversation with him, his, his understanding it was less than mine. Oh, gosh. So I'm hoping yeah. he got a, a rather intensive uh, tutorial from the creator between the time mm. I last saw him and the time he goes to Japan. Right. Right. But these community currencies have so much potential. Mm -hmm. I think the state of New York is trying to create a some type of digital currency that they want to use within the state of New York, which is, or they're trying to press, pass legislation to do that, which was I thought was kind of interesting to have a a state a, a government entity, you know, a, on a state level trying to create their own currency. I want to add one bit of, of uh, background information. It, it's uh, almost gossip. But I, I tend to believe it. I, I have heard that, that Fuse.io got $30 million of uh, funding. Oh, yeah. Um, hey, Thomas. Hey, there's Thomas Law. Well, we lost Nut Zipper, but we gained Thomas Law. Nut Zipper was just was here for several minutes. Arvin, um, hey, t um, let me turn on my video. Hey, Thomas Law. Uh, Arvin is uh, in China. He's he's still they're still having the Chinese New Year, so um, we don't have uh, Arvin with us today. So we're we go ahead. Do you think I should re reshow that Fuse.io? Uh, to Thomas Law. Oh well, I'm, unless uh, Thomas Law, do you have any particular topics or anything you want to discuss today? We're just kind of, you know, uh, freestyling it today. We don't with our limited group. Yeah, I don't have 
anything new. Uh, I only okay. think about. Uh, uh, I, I would like to 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 finish my uh, MetaMask uh, template. So this is something that. Uh, oh, know. okay. Well, we were just talking uh, about MetaMask, and can I show you something right quick? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, this, this is a product called Fuse.io, and I it has a wallet and it has a studio. And I'm in the studio right now. And what the studio has allowed me to do is create an R chain open community with uh, I, I create I minted uh, a minable burnable token, the RCH. I only minted a thousand of them. I could have minted a hundred billion of them. Okay. I um I have five hundred of them on Ethereum. It's an it's a ERC twenty token. And I'll 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 prove that here in a second. We go down here and say after after my initial supply of five hundred and five hundred on the art on the uh, fuse chain. I now have 360 left in the community wallet. I've transferred, uh, I have two users in the community now other, other than the administrator, which is also me, but my two users are Gary on my iPad, Gary Coulter on uh, my Android. And it only works on mobile tablet, uh, you know, mobile devices right now. The wallet does. I see. Apparently, I can't. I don't know how to get it on on my laptop. But is it a, is it a, like a native application or like a web interface in the browser? It's a web interface. Mm, okay. 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 And I have transferred money to both of these uh, addresses some problem with the wallet I won't go into that but uh, I think this is such a cool if you go over here to my metamask and you see uh, in my uh, list of assets that I have down here my 360 RCH in the ethereum wallet so it shows you how easy it is to create an ERC-20 token. But uh, you can also manipulate my ERC-20 tokens over on the Fuse network. We have added Fuse to uh, our list of, of uh, chains that we can join. So I can join the Fuse chain in my MetaMask now, sadly, I don't have any Ethereum on the Fuse chain. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared to try to send it over there. But, uh, but you, you see, do you see, do you see any potential to this approach? Um, anyway, you mean from from Archon perspective, or yeah, yeah, from Archon uh, perspective. Yeah, so so uh, uh, when I'm talking about MetaMask, I'm thinking about uh, how to sign uh, a deploy. You know, because uh, uh, MetaMask is communicating with uh, with the ledger, for example. Uh, so uh, MetaMask is very nice to use uh, as as a uh, you know uh, like an interface to 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 your private key. Yeah, you can use you can use private key directly in the MetaMask. Yeah. In, in, in and we use we use that over on the Fuse network because yeah. I I uh, I certify the members of my community by signing, you know, exactly. with my private key. Exactly. So in the, in the same sense, uh, uh, we will be using MetaMask uh, to communicate or to sign our uh, our deploys to to Arch to 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 Arch network. So th this is our interface that uh, we can easily use, uh, uh, you know, for for uh, signing this with Ledger, because MetaMask is working with Ledger. So we are to automatically get uh, this functionality for Arch. Yeah. Uh, what we don't have is like 
complete integration with MetaMask. So you, you cannot read balance uh, directly in the MetaMask uh, from, from our, uh, directly from Archie. This is something that uh, uh, today's version of MetaMask is, is like a new version uh, from, from November last year, last year or, or, or December. So they, they, they were de developing uh, some kind of way of uh, plugins where you can register your plugin and then you can support uh, a different kind of protocols. And this is something that uh, I'm looking to, to implement later. Okay. Good. Especially, especially when we have uh, uh, exploratory deploy, then we can easily uh, you know, uh, check the data from, from the blockchain. <clears throat> So MetaMask would be a, a, a potential future Rev wallet. Is is that correct? Yeah, and and but even more, uh, you even don't more. need the whole MetaMask, right? MetaMask can just be your interface to to sign a deploy, and you can have your own mm -hmm. web page with uh, you know your wallet and functionality that you that you want for Archie. Oh, okay. You know, so 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 uh, what 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 is the workflow? Uh, you have web page that you trust right uh, but you don't you don't need uh, the full trust i mean uh, this web page will never never see your uh, private key you know? so uh, you only trust uh, you know the data that is sent between right it cannot it cannot steal your private key so this web page can also be like normal uh, web page that you, that you can double click on your on your machine and open it, it doesn't have to be like internet uh, uh, online web page. Mm -hmm. And then on this web page, you can easily say to MetaMask, oh, uh, please sign me this deploy. Okay. And, 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 and after that point, uh, you can send uh, this, you, you can save this deploy to, uh, if you are offline, or you can you know, send, uh, send this deploy directly to, to our chain uh, validator, whatever, okay. in, in, locally or, or in, in data. So I'm, I'm trying to <clears throat> take what Tomislav is saying and reinterpret it in terms of the, the blockchain art that, um, that we were discussing yesterday. So um, just a brief update with blockchain art and I'll uh, try to incorporate with what you're doing, Tomislav. Mm -hmm. So Jim has created a smart contract to identify a, a, an an art object. So that's the first smart contract. The second smart contract is the, the resale smart contract. So there's two smart contracts that need to work together to make blockchain art happen. So in this world, so in, imagine, you know, the, the artist, he has a, um, uh, a my our chain wallet account and he's and his uh, his customers all have uh, my our chain wallets so as this artist starts to sell his artwork to customers and then they in turn sell it resell it to their uh, friends and family uh, we could use the metamask as a, a form of our deploying the smart object uh, smart contract and the resale smart objects, uh, smart contract in order for this environment to start to, to happen. Yes. Okay. Yes. We, uh, we can create a web page uh, which has all of these contracts and understands, uh, you know, what do you need to, to, to send to Archim to, you know, to, to work with this contract. Okay. And uh, MetaMask will be your authentication application where you have your private keys directly in the metamask or in ledger okay you know it, it doesn't matter it's you know you're signing so no one knows where, where are you okay yeah this is this is good so I, I i'm glad this is being recorded so i'll have to bring this to the attention of eric so he's starts to um so he's understands what what it is because it, it's with with the advent of mainnet and with what Tomislav, what you're working on, you know, you get the sense of momentum. Things are, you know, all these pieces that are starting to come together to to you know all the and to for these ideas that we've been kind of playing with over the past six months can actually 
advance. You know, we can put them into practice. So, yes. uh, yeah, that's, that's exciting. That's exciting because so <clears throat> we're going to take what you're building along with the art, my Archain wallet and with uh, the Archain platform and create a use case. And this use case is um, uh, uh, blockchain art or art on the blockchain. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so Eric, he has, you know, his network of artists, friends who he's going to introduce this to, to start to actually start using this. So, so this, this is a real th uh, actual use case of people in, in, in the, art, in the world, in the, in, this is the artist community who, who will actually be using this. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's exciting to, to have an actual use case that gets, that's, um, comes alive. So, um, okay. Uh, I would like to add something to that. Uh, I will share my screen. Uh, uh, this is something very related to, to, to MetaMask or, or to Ledger. Uh, now in, in smartphones, uh, uh, now all, all smartphones will, will, will have something like Ledger, right? So something, uh, some secure, uh, secure chip where you can uh, store your private keys and mm -hmm. you can sign you can sign things just by your fingerprint and you know no oh, wow uh, very similar how 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 you have uh, uh, carbon wallets with with uh, fingerprints and okay. uh, you have this kind of uh, yeah and, and this is related this is like a hardware stuff inside the uh, the, the the smartphone and uh, there is already uh, the, this web out uh, interface so that you can uh, communicate with this secure storage uh, directly from the browser. And this is already, already used. And uh, okay. this is something that uh, I'm exploring uh, so that you can, uh, so that we can, uh, you know, uh, use this mechanism also to, to sign uh, deploys and send to uh, Archie. You know, so you can directly on, the, on, on, on your phone, you can have your, your private keys for, for your, you know, everyday life. Right. You can di directly, uh, you know, uh, send uh, and sign. So let me just kind of uh, repeat what you just said to make sure I understand it. So it sounds as if, so I've got my, my iPhone here. And if I use, use my thumbprint for identification, I'm using my thumbprint now uh, as a mechanism to, with this to, to uh, as, as, as a signature to, yes. wow. You, you have, so what, what is the idea? Idea is that, uh, you never expose uh, your fingerprint or your private keys. So mm -hmm. uh, what phone is doing this, this uh, secure storage, uh, it keeps this, uh, all this information keeps in secret. Okay. And uh, you, uh, all of this authentication is just locally on your phone. So you are only exposing, in, in, in Archen uh, world, you are only exposing signed deploy. This is only okay. thing that you are exposing. You, okay. you, are, you are sending signed, signed, signed data to, to Archon. You are saying, okay. oh, I signed this and you know, this is the proof that you know, I hold the, the private key. But right. You never, you never uh, reveal the private key or, or fingerprint. So and when you say you're just revealing that it's signed, just the acknowledgement that it's, that it's signed and not the, yes. the information that used to sign it. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. And, and, and this is completely enough. So your your complete, wow. uh, your communication with with this distributed network is only with uh, deploying signed uh, signed code to to, okay. to to the network, and that's it. Okay, boy. You know, all of this just keeps getting better and better. You know, yeah, this is yeah. <laughs> this is. And and uh, here are some some sample pages uh, uh, where you can uh, find out more about uh, this web okay. out mechanism. For example, mm -hmm. this one also. Uh, uh, there is a mecha mechanism that, uh, how how you uh, how this works in web browser. You 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 first register and then you know you, you have some uh, uh, back and forth communication and then mm -hmm. you know uh, you can you can use it for for signing. Okay, so so um, as I mentioned before. Uh, Jim, he's created the smart contract for the art object, and he's now working on the smart contract for the the resale 
uh, smart contract. And ideally, the, the thought is that there'll be a web page to where, you know, with the drop down where you put in, you know, the date and the terms and so forth to uh, create, you know, that artist's version of the resale smart contract. Um, so I guess, you know, th that's going to be a piece. Do you see that as a piece that we're going to need in, for this art on the blockchain uh, to, 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 for this use case to, to, to move forward a, a, a web, web page for a, a web interface or is there some alternative means that artists uh, and resellers can, can um, input their information? Uh, anything. So web, web, I see web page as very simple way of doing this. This is why way. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for, 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 I'm more for, for this than any other way because it's, it's very, very simple and you know. Okay. Especially now that we have a web API directly in. in okay. In All right. Well, so I know. Can, you know yeah. I know a little bit of uh, HTML and CSS. You know, just enough to be dangerous. So. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, so maybe, uh, and then Gary, you know, it's just a matter of uh, picking a domain, you know, uh, I don't know if Eric or you, or if anybody has a, a domain registered that we would like to use, you know, for this block, uh, art on the blockchain effort. Uh, so it, it would be having a domain, we'll work on creating a, a, a website that we're going to use to enter in, um, this information. So what, what I'm showing here is uh, a GitHub is already uh, giving you this for free. Oh, so okay. Uh, uh, on any repository, you can, uh, you can create uh, GitHub pages. Okay. So you can publish, uh, oh, you can okay. publish uh, the, the, the one branch. Okay. Uh, usually this is uh, uh, GH pages. Okay. Where you can put a static static site, and this static site will be published uh, on on, uh, on default name uh, as your repository name. Okay. And and this is completely free. So you don't have you don't have wow. you don't need to have anything. <laughs> and if you if you have, uh, you can register your your domain name very easily inside your repository, so you can have like a special domain name. And this is exactly what, uh, what how my Arch and Wallet is is, uh, is registered. I just have a redirect, you know, have a user-friendly domain name, uh, art on the blockchain, something, and it redirects to the, the GitHub page, and that's where the, the, the users actually enter in all of their, their data, you know, perhaps something like that. Okay. Yeah. So we have so a repository. For, for, so for, for, for start, I, I was thinking that, uh, you know, you can have, and you can do this now for, for my Archie wallet. Uh, you can just clone the repository, Okay. Uh, I already, already have it uh, uh, on, on my. Uh, and you can go to uh, to the settings, and uh, I can switch on. Um, so I'm not sure why it's not giving me a way to. Maybe if it if it is fork, it's not working. Hmm. Well, this is strange. Uh, you, you see here that uh, I have this uh, these settings. So by f um, forking my Archain wallet, what what what's the the ultimate purpose or intention of what what you? Why would you do that? Uh, so forking on, on uh, in Git is it really means just create another copy, because, right? Uh, every every repository or in Git is the complete so, uh, you know history and everything. What what's the advantage of using a a variation of the 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 main Meyer Chain wallet? Is there something that you want? Uh, is is so, there benefit advantages? Uh, so uh, if uh, on original uh, repository, you don't have any access, right? Okay. It's Arvin's, Arvin's repository and uh, you okay. cannot change anything. Okay. So how, how, uh, how Git is working and, and especially GitHub, 
is that you create uh, uh, your copy and okay. you can do all the changes. And if you want to contribute back, uh, you will create a pull, a pull request to, to, uh, to some other repository. Okay, so we, it's provided we had someone in the blockchain art community who's knowledgeable enough that we, we could fork MyArchain wallet and create the blockchain art version of the wallet uh, uh, that's specific yeah. for the blockchain art community. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, uh, this is exactly what uh, I was thinking with uh, how, how I started with this example. Uh, I didn't do anything for, for, for uh, uh, anything special for, for styling, right? Mm -hmm. Because I was thinking uh, uh, the uh, template should, should be uh, black and white. Right. And then when you when you fork the repo, you can easily add your CSS and make yeah you know your application be uh, style you know, it up the way you directly. want directly. Yes, yes, yeah. uh, uh, like uh, specific to you. And mm -hmm. that's, you know. Exactly. But but right. you can use a template with all of the features. I, I, exactly. I mean, that's you know having a bare bones you know template is is good. It, uh, example of this is uh, this is Zen Garden. This is very very old site. Uh, so you have only one uh, HTML, uh, mm. but uh, when you choose uh, here are the old designs, uh, you can choose different uh, different designs right. uh, for the same thing. So now we are we are looking. Uh, so this is one, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, we can see completely different looking but it's the same html in that some it's that's right? amazing so uh with only changing the 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 css uh, yep. uh, uh css file you can change your 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 style your your your, your how 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 it looks and you can easily uh integrate uh changes to the template so you can pull the changes and you know you can still work uh, okay with, you can still be in sync with with uh, you know uh, like root changes. Gotcha. Well, the web web gives uh, uh, this kind of uh, th th these features for free. So this is mm -hmm. something that I would like to use. And, okay. Uh, because All it's right. fun that you, you uh, the wallet is very simple. So mm -hmm. uh, it's it's very nice that we can you know uh, enrich this experience with just by CSS and stuff. Okay, so you can kind of almost see my Archain wallet as the template for all of these wallets that can be created, you know, for different communities, different use cases, and so forth. And then these wallets get customized and uh, geared towards specific, you know, communities with spe specific use cases and so forth. This yes. okay? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I mean that that speaks to this, you know, the you know adoption and branding and uh, the, the the usability of you know that proliferation of being able to uh, yeah. that customizability and um, uh, of of it. So yeah, that's that's that is yeah. One one other thing also is uh, 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 polymer, uh, it's not polymer. Uh, yeah, it's polymer, uh, polymer controls. Uh, this is also something that is, uh, I, I think Google is developing this for, for, for years. Uh, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're developing this as a as a HTML components that you can easily, uh, you know, combine and like more more advanced version of uh, HTML. So okay. we can also create uh, this, this kind of components that you can directly use uh, uh, for 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 Archie, Right? You can you can have component uh, uh, for for uh, visualizing uh, rolling code and you know this type mm. of stuff where you can okay, have some fun functionality just inside the one component. I'm not sure if they have, yeah, they, they're supported this uh, PWA and uh, is there any kind of demo to see? So let me just repeat back what you just said. So this allows you to visualize code or Roland code. So you have a, 
you you have you have a a, seg, a segment of of code and to to actually see what it does visually that's what what polymer yeah, does yeah because every 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 uh, uh, polymer is not directed to that uh, so poly polymer is uh, basically for for any component uh, let me see if I can find uh, some kind of demo. Uh, code editor. I don't want to code editor. Uh, I didn't look at this uh, for a while, so. Uh, now, is it? We have some kind of editor. Okay. Uh, so, so idea is to to have uh, rich components for for the web. Right. So you can package up like the whole uh, Arch and Cloud inside, and you know you just put it on your page, and you will have this functionality. And when, when I'm saying to to display a rolling code, uh, I, I'm thinking uh, in that terms because uh, I said that every every communication with uh, Arch and Network is uh, you know uh, creating a new deploy. So right. you need to in some in some cases you want to know uh, what what is the code that you are you are creating. Right. right. Okay. Because in, in, in simple cases, you will just use some kind of template and, you know, you will, you will cre create intersection with, with reps. The, you know, it's a standard uh, contract. But maybe you will have some, some advanced stuff where you, you want to, you know, uh, edit your, your, your rolling code directly and say, oh, I'm, I know what I'm doing and you know, I'm more advanced user. Okay. But you, you don't want to do this in black and white. You, you want to have some kind of, you know, uh, a better interface. Oh, okay. So it's the interface. Okay. So so you have the the, the rolling code. So is so are, are you saying is if, if you're someone who doesn't who can't write rolling code, this is another form of writing rolling yes. code. Oh, yes. because you are you are creating more advanced deploys, right? You you, you, uh, you are communicating with with the whole network, but you are you are writing growing, right? So this is like more in the future when, when we, we want to have the whole uh, the whole interface directly in the in the browser, and oh. so it's almost maybe, like a, a rolling code uh, automated coding, automated coding. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for example, here here, here is some in a sense something very very similar uh, you have a, a <laughs> editor directly in the browser right okay. and you you can write javascript and you can uh, execute the code and you know so we can uh, we can have something very similar to to archie where you can okay. you know, uh, write some rolling uh, you know test it and you know make a deploy and oh okay gotcha neat and so, all, all of these things are already uh, existing, you know, so it's, we don't have to invent everything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, it, it, for the, the Polymer project to understand and interpret Rolang, is there anything that we need to, to do, create or provide as a community to the project so it understands it or? Uh, so uh, so, so uh, Polymer is more about uh, UI. Oh, okay. So I, 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 uh, this is my example to show uh, there is like advanced uh, uh, components for for web already create uh, created and you know. Okay. Uh, uh, there is a lots of ways we, we can you know create templates. Okay. So we can uh, and I think we should create templates for all the platforms you know for for everything you know for for React for Polymer for uh, Angular for. Interesting. So, you know so so that we can cover uh, uh, community in every aspect. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Well, these, you know, it's having these tools, you know, at our disposal and understanding how these tools um, inter interact with one another. Uh, that's, it's, that's like the, the secret ingredient to, to, okay. to, to make the magic happen. Yeah, so. yeah, and, and you know, and and, and Archen is uh, uh, the point of connection, right? Uh, right. Now, now you have uh, a Polymer. You have different way of uh, creating your uh, your client applications, right? You have, uh, you know, 
React, Angular, what I what I already mentioned, you know, right. all, all these things gives you a way to create uh, UIs and, and interaction with the user. So now you need some kind of server when you can store all of this information. And this okay. is what, uh, what we want uh, uh, to have. Decentralized server when you can create your application and just, you know, uh, put it out, uh, the, the store, store all your data in, in this decentralized uh, storage. Okay. So, so with this centralized server, would this be, this would be the, um, a community based who now who, who you know who who would be managing that and i guess i guess the community would that be a community effort to create it and manage it um uh, so when i when i say uh, th th these servers uh, uh, these servers are validators this is oh the, okay all right so we can directly communicate with uh, uh, with archer network we don't need anything in between okay all right and of course uh, if if you think about uh, our chain uh, okay. more in, in more private environment, uh, then mm -hmm. you can say, yeah, I will I will I will put my R node in uh, in, in, in in my I don't know uh, uh, one place where I live and some someone else, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, this can be like a distributed database where you know uh, mm -hmm. you have. Uh, uh, database on two places, which okay. uh, which are automatically synchronized. So you can use it in this way also. So so in the future, so someone's on Polymer project. They're experimenting experimenting with React, creating some code which is interfacing with the R chain platform. So, but is it, it with the, the validators, but each, each time they, they, they run a little bit of code, isn't there a, a cost associated with that? So, uh, yeah, yeah. It, and, uh, this is fine because you're using the database. Okay. So the, the user realizes, okay, I'm going to run this. There's going to be a cost involved. So there, it, it would, it would pull from their, their wallet somehow to pay for all of these, these uh, deploys yeah. and uh, run times yeah. and so forth. Okay. Yeah, and, okay. and and this is the advantage because now uh, you don't see this cost, right? It's 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 somewhere else, right? It's not directly connected to your uh, use of of the, the server, right? You're you're streaming something uh, from, from the from the some server. You you're not paying directly for this uh, download. You are paying. No, it's so, somehow in some, some other way, you know, <clears throat> because uh, okay. now it's not possible. We don't have technology to, to, to count, you know, every download. And, but right. with, uh, with Archen, we can, we can really count exactly what you, what you are doing. Okay. And, and of right. course, uh, uh, you, can, uh, uh, you, can, you can always have your own read-only node mm -hmm. and you can communicate with this node for free. Mm -hmm. So... Okay. You, have, you can have the whole network and you can have uh, your own node. And you, you can uh, directly use your node because, uh, you know, you want to have a database that is close to you, you know, so you can very easily communicate. Uh, and, but it's also synchronized with the, with the whole network. So that, okay. that, that's the purpose of a read-only node. Okay. So do you see us leveraging the Polymer project or us creating our own variation or version of that. So, so, so Polymer project, you can see just as another way of, you know, creating a template. Oh, okay. So it's an example yeah. of what, what we could, what we could. Yeah. I, I, I didn't find really, uh, uh, the demo that I was expecting. Maybe, maybe now they, they have more, more things, uh, inside. Uh, let me see uh, web components. Okay, this is not what I'm looking for. Uh, I remember that uh, a Polymer was uh, only about uh, co uh, web components, and now I see they have uh, some something else also. You see this material web components. This is from Material Design. Okay, here's the demo. Uh, so, for example, this kind of uh, components uh, polymers gives you. 
you know, some kind of forms, uh, checkboxes, uh, you know, radio buttons, like an easy way to create UI. And they, uh, uh, you can do this uh, uh, with existing HTML, but uh, you know they 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 claim that Polymer was uh, is more uh, easier to use and more uh, modular. So you can you know mm -hmm. create a component, package it up, and you know give to someone and say, oh, uh, you know you know you have all of this functionality inside the component, and, right. and it looks like HTML. Right. Well. Well, great. We're at the, the top of the hour. So, but this, this has been a, a, a great discussion. So I'm going to, um, I'll post this later on today and bring it to the attention of, of Eric. So, you know, all these pieces, you know, they're all kind of coming together. So we'll, we'll be having projects and use cases, you know, just going out the door here soon. So thanks, Tomislav. We, we, we appreciate your, your insight. So good. Anybody else have any uh, final thoughts or comments? Very good. Well, uh, hopefully next week uh, we'll have Arvin here and we'll pick up with my arching wallet. So have, but have a great week, everyone. See you next week. See you. Thanks everybody. Hey, KJ. Hi, HJ.